and welcome along and welcome to uh, welcome to logging in the mountains. So what we're doing today is uh, is we're going to do something slightly different to my normal first first looks. Uh, to be honest, most of this map, uh, as you can see from here, is uh, pretty similar. Uh, it is it is one very big mountainous area. So a uh, mountainous forestry area in a. Uh, in a pond uh so there's a couple of other mods i also want to try out uh that came out uh yesterday and so what we're going to do is we're going to buy ourselves some land we're giving ourselves five million we're going to buy ourselves some land in the middle of this um and as you'll see the reason why i'm giving myself five million is because well this bit here is thirty thousand, uh and this bit here is fourteen thousand. both have very very little forestry you can do on them you then get 232,000 um, and, you know, again, we're not getting much into the mountain. So what you really want to do is you want to want have one of these areas here. They are half a million, 18, uh, 1.8 million, 1 million, uh, 1 1.9 million and 1 1.4 million. So in order to actually do a bit of logging that we want to do today, um, we're, we're going to have to buy one of these more expensive ones. So I'm actually going to grab um, this one here. Uh, it's It's got a good amount of land. It's 1.8. It's one of the more expensive bits. Uh, but that will get us started and get us set up. The other thing we're going to do uh, is we are going to pop into the forestry machines here. And we're going to try out these two pieces of kit. Now, the John Deere 1470G and the John Deere 1910G are the first, they're actually the first two bits of John Deere equipment that have been released on PC and console. Um, they are both by North, the North Modding Company. Uh, and they're the yeah, first bits of John Deere and first bits of, uh, of John Deere forestry stuff uh, as well, of course, obviously. Uh, so we're going to try them out. We're going to have a look at them quickly. So uh, we'll start off with the John Deere 1470G. So uh, yeah, its its options are uh, either Nokian or Os Osfloth, which are obviously have the uh, have an interesting setup for the wheels. So you've got various chains that you can have on this. I really quite like that. That's the first time I've seen lots and lots of options with the train. Uh, chains and I'm actually really quite liking the mix we have here. So we'll go with this mix on this one uh, And we'll buy that uh, so it's uh, it's got 268 horsepower uh, It goes 12 miles an hour and has uh, 320 liters uh, as its capacity for fuel uh, Any other information there not really other than it can cut down trees uh, and then we have this here the uh, John Deere 1910 G uh, this, of course, is a uh, is a log transport. Uh, holds 200 litres of fuel, has 280 horsepower and 12 miles per hour. And again, you are able to uh, either have the Nokians without anything on them or the various different uh, setups for uh, setups for the tracks. So again, we're going to go for a mixed set of tracks. Uh, you've also got the choice of a blade or no blade. Oh, wow. So, actually, so you've got grill, no blade, blade, no grill, blade with the grill removed, uh, blade with the grill mounted, and, uh, yeah, so four options on our basic setup. So I'm going to leave it with uh, blade, no grill. I quite like the look of that. And then the engine setup, we do have some larger ones. So you got the 1910, uh, the 1910 OPT, uh, the 1910 low range, uh, and that's that's your three options. And those go up to. So actually, that's interesting. Uh, the 1910 o Opt uh, is 2,000 and has 320 horsepower, whereas the low range is uh, 3,000. So yeah, costs more and has less. Uh, less horsepower, which is interesting. I'm actually going to go for the more expensive one here. So those are our two pieces of kit. And what we're going to do is we're going to take them up into the mountains. That's interesting. We did buy those, did we not? Yeah, we do have both of them. So, 
first things on this map. So I should say this map is by Stefan 1997. And actually, the spawn point for purchasers is not outside. Or initially is not outside. It is here. So let's have a look at our pieces of kit. So uh, I'm really actually quite liking these. These are some nice models. Uh, they're looking they're looking very good. Uh, I'm hoping they've got some good controls on them. Again, our uh, our forestry harvester are looking nice. Now these cabs, I think, are independently controlled. So it'll be interesting to see how that works with my setup. Whether I need to go into my controls and do something else. Interesting grips on there. I always think these are spiked, but um, I'm guessing in this case they're not. And uh, and yeah, interesting setup. Very nice models. Uh, let's get our uh, truck out of here first, or our logging uh, tractor out of here first. Looking very nice, and uh, and running well as well. So six miles an hour this is moving out. I thought we had a faster miles an hour on this. I'm trying to hear if we have a chain rattle. We do have a little bit of one, I think. But there, yeah, that is interesting. That is a maximum speed of six miles an hour. I missed that in the shop. So certainly this is not one of your faster pieces of kit. And it may take you a little while. So I'm going to get this one moved up. Ah, oh, actually... Before I do that, look at that. The cab. Uh, the cab is on a gyroscope. So you have it that you are always facing flat. So that is going to come very handy in this map. Uh, it being a map of, uh, of course, of a, uh, a mountainous terrain. And if you go into here, you can see that it does... Uh, does work really quite well. I'm really quite liking this piece of kit. Third camera there, which is set on our arm, which is really useful. Uh, we'll give that a try and see how that works. And let's see what the suspension is like over this rock. That's not bad. And a good piece of grip as well. Good to see that that works nicely too. Yeah, pretty impressed with this. We may have a quick whip around the map at the end of the uh, but uh, yeah, I'm quite impressed by this at the moment. This is a nice bit of kit. It's huge. It really is big. And look at that, actually. So again, the gyroscope, when it turns, it actually sits you in an intro. That's really, really interesting. I'm liking this a lot, this, uh, this piece of kit, this 1910. So uh, let's give the arm a quick test. Now, the controls I find to be a little bit weird in, uh, in FS19. Um, but it is the very standard controls. Uh, and it is working nicely. Now, that's intriguing. So, uh, what I've got is it's actually turning the cab at the same time. But I think that's my controls rather than the actual, uh, rather than the actual cab. Uh, if I switch... It. So if I go on to two, I'm not sure what that does. Ah, that is our front blade. Moving with that. So that's intriguing. So we have a we have a setup here where our cab is attached. Or oh, the, the turning of the cab, certainly on my setup, which may be different to others. Is, uh, is attached to how the arm moves as well. Which is unfortunate. I was kind of hoping that the cab might. See if there's some way to turn. Yeah, we can. We can go left control and B. And that changes our driving directory and direction. And that means our cab. Oh, that's nice. That's very nice. So now our cab keeps absolute eye internally on our actual trailer or on where our claw is that's absolutely brilliant i love that that's so so cool uh so let's switch back and head back to the shop interestingly on the map there we go so we'll enter this and we'll take this up there as well 
So that's really cool. Now, there's something that's a little bit of a problem. In that uh, we need to get that out. Lift that out. And we'll see what this is like now for doing stuff. Again, I'm fully expecting this to be on a gyroscope, which it is. And, uh, yeah. I'm liking, I'm liking the modelling on this. Uh, I would say, looking at this... I'm looking at the back of the chair, so there's a little bit of an issue uh, with the uh, positioning of the camera in the cab. I never quite get that, and it's, I think it's to do with the cab being, or the, the camera being positioned when it's stationary, and of course there's always a little bit of pushback when you move, but yeah, I would kind of like it not to be sitting behind the cab. Um, Modelling looks quite good, it's, there's a little bit of low polyness. Uh, on the joysticks by the looks of things there uh, I can see I can see facets uh, on those uh, so you can definitely see the edges of the model uh, but otherwise yeah I'm quite like it textures are nice and good I mean even the back of the chair we're looking at the back of the chair quite close up here and it's not pixelated it's a little blurry but it's not pixelated and that's quite good uh, cab itself actually looking at the struts this almost looks like it's from an earlier version of Farmsim, to be honest. And again, we've got a camera that's attached to our arm. We can't turn this camera at all. It is just an arm-mounted camera. Uh, and this is going to be quite useful for what we're about to do, of course. So we're going to unfold this. Right, and do that. So yeah, really works quite well. Turn that down, head down, and out. There we go. And I'll we'll take it down again. And cut. Interesting sound effect on that. Turn that round. See if we can't get it towards our truck. Right, and then we're going to do uh, sort of five at meter lengths. So we change our cut length, uh, which doesn't list here, which I can't quite remember what it is. Uh, well, we'll, we'll cut it at, uh, at whatever length we currently have, I think. So uh, let's give that a cut, which is not very long. So... Uh, I do find that annoying that you can't work out, you can't uh, see what the cut length is in the uh, in the setup here. I do know it's something that's, that, that is easy to tell, but uh, it's uh, it's certainly not showing here. Ah, there we go. It's Control Y. Now, the thing, of course, I have here is I can't look down. That is a good length. There we go. So that's got it. Let's change our camera and have a look again. And uh, we want to do the last cut. But that's pretty cool. I'm liking that a lot. Let's reverse out. I have got the enhanced vehicle mod on here, which I don't normally do on the first look. Uh, but I wanted it to uh, to make things as easy as possible for us uh, to try out this equipment. And it is nice equipment. I am quite liking it. I'm liking the way the cabs work and I'm liking the look of it. It does seem, as I said, it does seem a little bit low poly. Um, so I'm not I'm not 100% sure whether this is uh, this is a an FS19 uh, originating mod. Right, and let's just pull this towards us. Uh, not across that, never mind. I don't care. Don't want to do. Uh, let's cut it. We are going to cross the front and we are trying to stick this under our thing. Right, there we go. So once we've cut this tree, we will give it a try and see how our trailer is. 
now that we've got some wood. But I'm getting used to the arm on this. This is uh, this is no different actually to the rest of uh, FS 19s stuff. And it does kind of make sense once you get used to the controls. So let's back this off. Uh, it is a nice bit of kit this. It's good to see some forestry stuff and it's interesting to see that the first John Deere stuff into the game is forestry stuff and actually it's quite cool because John Deere uh, one of the things I've, I've thought about farm sim is that it's missing a John Deere forestry straight off the bat so it is good to see that stuff in here so let's see uh, how this is so we've got uh, we have got that but I'm going to do it from outside let's do it from here I do like these cameras so this camera setup is quite useful. Uh, I'm finding myself far, far more interested in uh, in everything with that. Now that's interesting. What is that that I'm moving up and down? There? So that is that is the shield. So you can move that up and down. That's quite interesting. Uh, but what I want to do, I actually want to uh, zoom this out now I'm not sure how I may have not had this control assigned so let's see if we've uh, left control K and M and now that's interesting so I expected that ah there we go so yeah what would normally be the, the one that I would use uh, that is uh, that is assigned to a different setup uh, on this, so that's a little bit uh, strange to me. But we are good. We don't seem to have any feet for uh, balance here, so there's there's that that uh, does seem to be missing. But I'm guessing that's more a restriction of the actual equipment uh, than of the mod. Now let's see what happens when we pick this up. That's pretty good grip, actually. There aren't many mods in Farm Sim that you can lift two uh, two logs like that, and I'm pretty impressed. Uh, and it did kind of hold on to them fairly well. Seems to be uh, seems to have a good grip, especially on one. Certainly seems to be better than the main game ones, which is interesting. And into there yeah that has that has loaded for me a lot easier than I've had with some of the standard in-game ones and I like the gap in the middle here makes it really easy to get your uh, your stuff in and out and that turning cab does look absolutely fantastic the controls do seem to be slightly inverted or slightly changed from the standard I don't know if that's uh, that's the case, but I certainly feel like the controls are slightly different from the standard. Um, it's almost as if it's a it's a, a, a separate set. Uh, up and down for me is is not what it normally is. I kind of want. There we go. So down we go. Yeah, I keep going the wrong way with this. So, uh, yeah, it's, it works. It works well, this. I quite like it. For the most part. It is a, a nicely working bit of kit. I think I would have to uh, alter the controls a bit. Uh, but in general, yeah, it works. It works very nicely. So let's load this second one on here. Uh, we're not going to do very much with this. There we go. Whoa. Right. And we we do have... So I missed. Uh, but we do have straps on here, which is really good. Uh, and of course, we are in reverse. Uh, we are reverse driving at the moment. So let's... Forward is that. So control B. Yeah, there we go. Switch back around.
put that down. And, uh, and yeah, so uh, that is uh, working quite well. We actually have that second log attached in because of those. So yeah, I'm I'm quite impressed with that. That is uh, is working rather nicely, and uh, it's a nice bit of kit. I think I think logging with these will be good. Uh, the map itself um, is uh, a decent logging map by the looks of things. Uh, but as I said, I'm I'm not that enthralled by it, which is why I've decided not to do a full first look on it. Uh, but uh, yeah, if you're looking for something that has a lot of a lot of words and a lot of logging to it. Uh, and certainly looks like you can progress on it. Um, as I said, with the areas, if you start with something like that or that, you can uh, you can actually get some fairly big logging equipment and just sort of clear stuff out. In fact, you could do that, clear this area here, make your money and buy your next area. But it's there's nothing really hidden on it as far as I can see. Um, so, uh, yeah, it was more really giving these a try out. And I, I really quite like them. I think these are a, a nice set of uh, John Deere forestry equipment. Good to see in the game. Uh, something I would, I'd kind of been expecting to see in from the get-go. Uh, as I just do, just want to check on this one. I think that the uh, the cab I'm guessing is the same cab. So I'll have a look. And yeah, you can see on there. On the, in fact, on the armrests as well. It's all a little bit low poly. So uh, there could be a little bit more work. Um, just to just to make it lose that, that sharpness and that, that oddness uh, that exists on those. Uh, we've got a little bit on the armrest. And actually, we've got a little bit of, on the rods on the sides and things. So, yeah. It is a little bit low poly, really. Um, and, uh, and actually... There's a little bit of artifacting around the edges of this. So the actual the actual equipment itself, the rest of it, really looks quite nice. Really looks like there's not too much. Yeah, it's got it. It's, yeah. The closer I look at it, the more I kind of go, uh, it could do with a little bit more smoothing. Uh, it could do with a little bit more work to, to make it not quite look so jagged. Um, but as, as far as a, a working mod goes, uh, I really quite like them. Uh, they are, they are quite nice insofar as that. But yeah, the, the, the meshes and the setup, all that artifacting, the, the, the black lines there, I'm not really liking that too much. Um, but they work fine. They work well. And, uh, and yeah, I've quite enjoyed using them. So, um, yeah, yeah, I think, I think. Worth downloading, especially if you can live with the uh, slightly low polyness of them. Um, yeah, pretty cool. Uh, so, uh, yeah, these are available from the Giants Mod Hub. They are available on console as well as PC, which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, go check them out. Uh, also, as I said, this map is Logging in the Mountains by Stefan1997. If you want to do a whole lot of logging, this is definitely a map for you. Um, there's not much to it other than that. Um, and that's where I'm going to leave it for this uh, this first look slash spotlight. Um, I hope you have enjoyed the video. Please give it a like, drop us a comment and give it a share. And for all the latest videos and live streams from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.